Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this kind of slider. See how cool is this? You can change color, you can change styling, lots of parameters you can change in this one. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So so first I'll just right click and make a material and bar. And to make that shape, basically I have already this tutorial, but this is the like you have to created what already Unreal gives so you don't have to recreate the wheel so you just have to type here generate and there's lots of thing route rectangle you can use and I'll go to unlit connect this here and see you have this now the uh, dimension we can change this is two vectors so I'll just connect this here and this is one and one so this is the one and one size but we can make it like 0 0.5 0 0.2 this one or maybe just 0 0.1 let's make some space so you have this cool and then we have uh, we can change this to maybe 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 that would be better okay and then we have the corner radius so by default this is 0 0.12 so maybe 0 0.1 yeah this is perfect now these are all round so this is the shape i have so what i'll do i'll just duplicate this or just make it uh, multiply it with the color let's say this one and now with the slider we have to dissolve it from one side to other but this should be something uh, unique so what I'll do I'll take a texture coordinate shift C for the mask and I'll take this gradient red gradient this then I'll take a smooth step and connect this here and I'll make these parameters so with the smooth step I will have control if I want to make it sharper or fadier so I'll just make this minimum and this maximum parameter and one and maximum should always be greater than minimum so I will add these together for the maximum then I will multiply this whole thing you can multiply here and then you can use the color at very end okay and let's also make this a parameter color okay cool so now let's save it and check now if I make the instance of this now you can see with this value I can dissolve it and this fairness we can decrease by making this lower like this and you can make this two-sided uh, here also let's turn this so now this is two-sided material so you can just change like this so it's working from right to left now you can make it even harder like this but we don't want that we want maybe this much is enough but what I want this part should go up so how you do that it has a texture coordinate so I'll just use it but we can add a gradient and we can use the same gradient this one so what I'll do I will add this gradient but only uh, let's add it but before adding I'll just multiply so we will have control how much so this is distort it will distort the UVs of this shape with this same gradient and we have the parameter to control how much distortion we want so now it's going up or down let's say this is how it is so you can see now it's going like this but it should be in the center here so we need to uh, invert it we can invert it 
we can also use power to control it uh, separately this gradient but let's check how it will work now yeah now we can distort it like this and it's working fine cool but this should also distort little randomly so what you can do now you can use this gradient this one you have inverted it you can take a texture you can take any texture you have let's say i use just the noise or i have this aura texture which looks cool and i can just multiply it with this and let's make a texture tiling also parameter although i should make the tile xy separately but let's make one parameter and let's try it now So now I can increase the tiling and I can increase the distortion like this and tiling more like this much. So it's up to you how you want. And distortion is too much. Maybe this much is enough. Cool. You can also pan this texture and also I will invert this texture actually. And I will pan this texture upward. 0.3. Let's save it. Cool. I will not start it. Uh, invert it. Then because I want some more fluidic effect, so I'll duplicate this whole thing. Actually not whole thing, just from here. And I'll change the texture. I will use blur noise. Like this. And then I'll change the panning speed, maybe 0.5. And then with this blur noise, I will distort my this texture. So I will multiply and then add to the UVs. So we can call it distort2. I can copy just this one, make it distort2. And let's save it. So now you can see this is by default and then we'll distort with second. Now there's a fluidy effect. You can increase it too much. I can decrease the tiling a little bit now. Also, what you can do when this is going down, you can make this thinner. So basically, this shape has this size and this Y size is the height. So depending on this gradient, so let's say if you you append vector and on the x i put 0.7 on the y i will use this gradient i'll saturate it first then use a lerp and i'll use the same value 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay it will work the same now we can make actually parameters so let's make it a parameter this is a 0 0.05 and this is b 0.05 okay so now we can change uh, one side of the gradient so now we have this and we can increase or decrease this like this cool you can make it even zero but it's not working that much but now and you can increase this fairness and see how cool is this i, I think this looks really cool that much yeah cool and you can also change the color if you want this uh, this particular area if you want and let me also do one thing 
Now it, it should be smaller and now if I subtract from bigger yeah so I just want to subtract very low value now you have edge okay and yeah you can just add those edges so it will be like you have frame like this But this should be above that. This blue thing should be. Well, I'll just add on there. It looks like this one is not visible much. And I will just make it darker. yeah no, it looks fine yeah looks cool So this is it. I hope you like. Thanks for watching. Keep learning.